As you've seen in our live demonstration, when we are redirecting commands output to a file, there's a lot of files being saved to transfer data from one command to the other. Instead of that, we can actually pipe the output of my one command to another command using something else in Unix. In this video, we will explain what a Unix pipe is and review some special commands that can transform what's piped into them called filters. At the end of this video, you will be able to describe what a Unix pipe is with an example, name five filter commands, and differentiate between redirecting the output and using a Unix pipe. Simply put, a Unix pipe is a way to send the output of one command to the input of another. In this example, Unix command, we pipe the output of cat command to another Unix command that counts the lines, words, and characters in the output. Now, please pay attention to this figure. When a command sends its output to a pipe, the receiving end for that output is another command, not a file. In most cases, the receiving command will be triggered to run without taking full advantage of the output of the previous command. However, in some special cases, the command does something with the input it receives through the pipe, just like WC here to count the contents of the file given to the cat command. We call such comments filters. So a filter is a program that takes inputs and transforms it, uh, its inputs in some way. When the filter is placed after a Unix pipe, it takes the output of the command on the other side of the pipe and uses it as an input. Grep, more, less, sort, and unique, as we've just seen, are all commands in this category. Grep will search for lines with a given string or look for a pattern in a given uh, input stream. More, as you've seen, um, will show you as much as it fits, as much as fits in your shell uh, window. And similar to less, um, sort will sort lines alphabetically or numerically in your input stream, and unique will give you the unique uh, lines in your input stream. Um, but the main thing is, all of these commands will transform their input in one way or another. Let's go over some of these pipes and filters now to understand what they are doing. ls minus la piped into more. Uh, sometimes when we see the output of ls, there are so many files and directories in that directory, um, it's not going to fit in your shell. So if you simply pipe that to more, you'll see um, partial outputs of ls minus la. And by pushing space, as we've done in our last video, you could see the rest of the lines and, uh, or files and directories in that directory. The next one, we have cat file name piped into wc. Here uh, we'll see the lines, words, characters, the number of lines, word, characters, and the output of cat, namely the content in the contents of file name. The next one is the manual page for the cat command piped into a grep file. Uh, what grep does here is it's going to look for the occurrence of file uh, in each line of the manual page for grep, uh, for cat. So you'll have uh, the output of man cat and be able to see only the lines in that manual page that involves uh, the file uh, text in it. The next one, we have the ls, the output of ls, and we are looking for txt in that output. So each line that has txt in it uh, will be output by grip, but we don't stop there. Then that output gets piped into wc, and uh, the number of lines in that wc output will tell you how many text files were in that directory that we ls actually, if you were able, uh, trying to count the number of text files there. And our last one, nicely combines 
redirection and uh, the pipes. So we here see who piped into sort. Who will give you who is logged in your Unix system at that time? The sort command will sort that alphabetically and write that uh, into a file called current users. An interesting thing is you can string together multiple pipes just like we've done on that fourth line and create a small script. So these double pipes here were used for that purpose. In the next video, we'll execute some of these pipes and filters and look, explore some data sets using these comments.